Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make positive and negative impressions using a rolling mill. Now, if you've ever been to a penny arcade or visited a fair where you put a penny into a machine and turned a crank and produced something that looked like this, then you've used a rolling mill already. In this video, I want to show you how to create both the negative depressions and the items that pop from a surface to create a positive impression. You're going to be using tools like screening to create an interesting grid pattern and brass tools with cutouts in order to create the pop-ups or the positive images. Here you can see a piece of copper that's been rolled through with the tool to create just the circles. Now over here you can see where this has been combined to create a positive negative impression where you see the positive circles with the background of the screening and here the positive circles with a bumpy background created from sandpaper and finally a positive impression of circles against a very faint matte surface which was made using just regular tissue. Okay, let me show you how to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is make just a simple basic negative impression and I'm going to use a bit of screening. Now if you want to make this a little more interesting you could take something like a soldering pick or a pencil and just make a few pokes through the screening. It'll make it look a little bit more organic like a bug might have created it. Okay, so once we're ready to go, I'll position this steel tool on top of a piece of well-annealed copper sheet metal that I want to give a texture to. But, because this is steel material and the rollers of the rolling mill are steel, I need to protect the rollers because running steel against steel, I might make an impression on the rollers that would ruin them forever. So I'm going to pick up another piece of copper and create a little sandwich. Okay, now this is ready to go. Now what I want to do first is open up the rollers and insert the material so that it fits in between. Then I'll just shut the rollers down to a point where I can't push it any further. And that tells me that that's the exact thickness of the material that I'm about to run. So I'll set the dials on top to zero to record that position and then I can open up the rollers one more time. Then I just roll back to that zero position and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit less space by just rolling back. Okay, you notice that I have the handle in the upright position. That's because it's easier to initiate this with a push than it is to pull it up and strain your back. So I'm going to push the material against the back of the rollers and then push the handle. Okay, and as you can see, both pieces of copper were given a negative impression and you can see where the piece of screening is a little bit fatigued from having been pressed between those two pieces of copper. Well, I can use one of these pieces of copper as a tool now. And what I can do is just take another piece of copper, put it against this without the screening, turn this down a little bit tighter, bringing the rollers closer together, placing the material at the back side. Let me pull up my handle first. And now I'm going to roll it forward. And now you can see where the negative impression remained on the one that I used as a tool and now this surface on the other piece of copper is a positive. Now when you print this material you could use a disc cutter to cut out something like that and maybe gently work it into a hardwood dapping block to create a dome that could be set like a jewel in a ring or maybe it becomes an element like a button on a shirt. Okay, let me show you how to make the positive impression with the background negative impression. I have a tool similar to the one on the table, and I have a piece of copper that I've already polished. So this is to make sure that the bubbles that I get are going to stay bright and shiny. 
All right, and I'm going to just use a simple piece of tissue. All I do is I put the tissue over the copper, I take the brass tool and place it on top of it. And again, I'm going to open up the rollers and I want to just insert the material and shut it down to where it can't go any further and set my dials to zero. Now I'm going to open the rollers again. I should come back to zero and now I'm going to push to decrease the amount of space between the rollers. I'll lift the handle and now get ready to roll from the behind position pushing the handle forward. So I give it a little bit of pressure and roll it. Okay, you can see where the tissue is completely pressed and fatigued. The tool remained the same. And look at that. We have an impression with the positive bubbles, with a background that's nice and frosty from just a piece of tissue paper. I hope you have fun using the rolling mill to make impressions on your metal. Check out our other videos and products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.